This is Pastor Joseph with Life Family, and I want to bring you a little extra because it's the little things done consistently that make a big difference. So today we're looking in the scriptures again in James chapter 3, where it's talking about how difficult it is to control the tongue. Have you been there before? Where you wished you could have captured those words that rolled off your tongue, but it was too late. You put it out there and you regretted it immediately afterwards. We've all been there because the Bible says the tongue no man can tame. Think about that for a minute. We as human beings have been able to tame some of the wildest beast in our world. We've been able to tame the lion. We have been able to tame the animal kingdom and the canine kingdom. We've been able to tame almost every known creature to man except our own tongue. You see, the tongue is so hard to rule because the Bible says it's full of deadly poison. It's full of evil. And when we give life to these wicked thoughts and these wicked things in our heart, we give life to them and they set us on a path of that direction. Again, when we start thinking lies or evil thoughts, we give place to them with our words. And sooner or later, we will start living that path of evil and that darkness because our words have set us in that direction. So today, that's why we need to see the necessity and the beauty of receiving the gift of the Holy Spirit. Because God takes something so corrupt and so vile and so evil as the tongue, the words that come out of our mouth, and when we surrender to God, He infills us with His Spirit by the evidence of controlling that which no man can tame. We are now enabled by the power of the Holy Spirit. You see, the Spirit is able to control that member of our bodies, that member of our lives, that only He can tame. It's a beautiful sign that we have surrendered our mind, will, heart, emotions, our total self to the Holy Spirit. So what about you? Have you ever received the gift of the Holy Spirit with the evidence of speaking in tongues? It's a beautiful sign that you have surrendered yourself to God and now He is the Lord of your life. So today, why don't we try to pray more in the Spirit? Praying more in the Spirit allows us to be more in control by the Holy Spirit. Let's give God a little extra because it's the little things done consistently that make a big difference. God bless.